Oh, these are juicy questions. I kind of love this little tea time moment. Hello? I don't even drink tea, to be honest. It's more of like, mm, tea. Yeah, perfect. That's my shoe. I promise that's my shoe. <laughs> Hi, sisters. James Charles here, and today I am in London for Tea Time with Cosmo UK. Let's go. Hit me with it. Ooh, I think that I don't care. And I think that I minded my own business as one should. And I stayed in my own lane. The biggest piece of advice that I give to everybody joining the industry whenever they ask me um, is mind your own business, worry about yourself. And through being kind to others and being supportive of others and staying out of the drama, you will succeed. I can promise you that. Oops. <laughs> Off to a great start. That's a loaded question. Um, I think a lot of the things that I said when I was younger, people realized were when I was 12, and it's inevitable that people grow and change. Over time, I have shown my true colors and people have seen what I've done with my platform, whether it be helping everybody out or building other artists up or fighting for inclusivity um, on different launches. And it's important for me to preach that as well and be able to show that to my young followers as well because I think mistakes are in human nature and everyone's going to make mistakes and the only thing that we can do for them is look at what happened and learn and grow to be bigger and better people and I can definitely confidently say that I have from mine and that's something that I preach on my platform and I hope that a lot of other people um, can see and do as well. If I had to pick just one, probably my recent collaboration with Morphe. We released the first ever James Charles palette and brush set, and it has been sold out worldwide literally every single time it's restocked. I think it's been three times now, which is so beyond crazy. Ooh, in the palette, well, there is a shade called tea. It's a dark brown. There's no tea behind it. It's just the color of tea. Or mm, what color is tea? I don't even drink tea, to be honest. It's more of like, mm, tea. This type of tea that we have going on in this video today. Maybe like, punch me. I've had a lot of questions about like, why is there a shade named punch me? But it actually stemmed from um, two of my best friends, Ethan and Grayson Dolan. Um, before we were all best friends, I used to leave comments on their Instagram pictures asking them to punch me because I thought they were hot. And now they're two of my best friends in the entire world. So I wanted to name a shade name after um, how that friendship started. That is punch me. <laughs> Ooh, these are juicy questions. I kind of love this little tea time moment. Um, I was planning on doing a YouTube behind the scenes documentary for a very, very long time. But after a lot of thought, I've decided no, not to. I feel like it's a conversation that we aren't really ready to have yet. And I feel like it would really ruin a lot of the facade that people are able to enjoy as fans. So I just don't think it's like necessary to bring that stuff out. I think as time progresses, the honest truth will always come out. And I think that that doesn't need to be through me releasing a documentary. So no, but you never know what happened in the future. Yeah, it's not the best community in the world, I will say. Um, I love being a part of it and I have met a lot of incredible people from it, but there's also a lot of people that are in it for the wrong reasons. So yes, I do find it hard, but when you kind of experience a lot of it, you do get a good sense of how to pick the good ones from the bad, and I'm blessed to have a lot of really good ones around me. Ooh. Oh, probably those like stupid drops that people put on before they do their makeup that like just, do you know what I'm talking about? They're so dumb. They do absolutely nothing. Like the holographic iridescent drops. It's also my biggest pet peeve when people use those and then put on like a full coverage matte foundation over top. Like, what are you doing? You're just adding on extra product to your face for literally no reason. But that's just me. There's no rules to makeup, of course. Ooh. Uh... Oh, I guess um, this past beauty con in Los Angeles, I actually went to the convention in full prosthetic special effects disguise. And I tried to interview other influencers as somebody else, but I had a major anxiety attack talking to people because a lot of people were incredibly rude from the industry behind the scenes. And it was very weird. Like I don't really get nervous in public ever, but that for me was like 
something triggered me inside. I think it's just because like I've worked so hard to get to where I am today in the industry and like going there in disguise was like wiping that all away and I had to like start over with somebody else. I don't know, I do get a lot of confidence from, I get confidence from my work and knowing that like I've been able to inspire people, both fans and other influencers. So that was like a really dark moment for me. I'm working on like my own personal journey to find confidence without like my name attached, if that makes sense. Like confidence from within. It's a special video to me because like I learned a lot from it and I was able to kind of be open and talk about what happened, but it was also like a nightmare and during the actual filming process. So that's probably the craziest thing I've ever done and I will never do that again. <gasps> Well, you guys, it looks like that is all the tea we have to spill today here on Cosmo UK. I hope you guys enjoyed all those answers to my beauty-related questions about the industry, all things James Charles and my palette. Oops. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and also subscribe to the Cosmo UK YouTube channel. If you have not already as well, make sure to check me out on my Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. They're all just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes. I have is James Charles, the next S after Charles. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye sisters. I'd like to make a public service announcement, by the way, that this cup does say gin. Um, for the first time ever here in London, I am of the legal drinking age. Will not be drinking. I am a sober sister. Um, this is coffee, so don't try it.